the total irreversibility in steam power plant is the sum of four components and two hot fluids therefore i total is equals is the sum of i is of heat recovery steam turbine condenser pump exhaust and hot water after substituting the corresponding values of irreversibilities the total irreversibility is equal to 7.41 megawatts to find the second law efficiency xrg of hot gas is required from the formula xrg of hot gas obtained is 11.691 megawatts similar to the first law efficiency that is energy balance the xrg balance gives the work output from the steam power plant w nat is equal to xrg of the hot gas minus total irreversibilities that is equal to 4.28 megawatts from the first law efficiency the same network obtained is 4.279 megawatts both are match that's why the xrg is uh, what we did is correct the second law efficiency is defined as the ratio of actual work and maximum possible work the maximum possible work is the potential of hot gas we are calling as xrg of hot gas this is also can be calculated as 1 minus total loss by xrg now it is 36.6% for the second law efficiency the first law efficiency obtained in the previous calculations is around 25% it can be concluded the second law efficiency is more than the first law efficiency to analyze the losses associated in the second steam power plant it is to be required to convert the all the irreversibilities including the work output in percentage so that it is possible to identify the strong points and the weak points after identifying the weak points we can decide which area is the weakest area what is the scope of the improvement in the current steam power plant therefore uh, the percentage of irreversibilities in the heat recovery is identified as 14.73% it is the ratio of uh, irreversibility in the heat recovery and uh, xrg value of hot gas similarly for the steam turbine it is uh, 6.07% for condenser it is 5.52% for pump 0.19% it is very low its minimum value exhaust is uh, very high it is 35.46% because the hot gas exit temperature from the heat recovery is considered as 200 degree centigrade similarly the hot water coming from the condenser uh, the associated percentage of irreversibility is 1.39% now the xrg contribution to generate the power is uh, 36.6% which is also equal to second law efficiency now uh, similar to the energy balance xrg balance also can be evaluated as a heat balance sheet the total xrg input to the plant is uh, 100% is considered and the total output is sum of all the irreversibilities plus one component the last component of uh, xrg contribution towards the work generation and uh, all together the sum is 99.99% now this bar chart compares the xrg losses or the decays associated at each and every component and fluid plus the power generation the power generation is 36.6% which is more than all the individual losses the major loss associated it is in the hot gas that can be minimized by properly selecting the exhaust gas temperature maybe below 200 degrees centigrade it may be possible the second weak point in this uh, plant is uh, heat recovery steam generator by properly designing the pinch point this also can be minimized the total numerical problem can be discussed or can be solved using this computer programming